Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and today is a computer unboxing. I haven't done one of these in a while. Mainly because this one is quite different from what I've been getting usually. Now, if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you'll, you'll know I've done these before. And I'm still getting computers, I'm just not doing videos for every one of them nowadays. Well, this one is an exception. You can get that out of the way now. Well padded. Good to see. This is a Fujitsu Lifebook 6000 series. It's quite big. It's got a Pentium 4 in it. Let's take a look at it. Full keyboard. Big glossy screen. Volume up and down buttons up here. Pentium 4 and it's got an ATI Radeon card in it. That'll be cool. I got this because I had not had a Fujitsu Pentium 4 laptop before, so I think this will be interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ports. On the left side, we have card slot, headphone, or audio out, uh, S-video out. We have like TV video outputs, that's cool. SD, uh, USB, headphone mic, firewire, lock port. Back we have almost nothing but venting, which like that's a PS2 port, VGA, LAN, internet, and more USBs. And over here we have another USB and a DVD drive. It's missing the cover though, although it, I have looked at it, it is just a very standard DVD cover that goes on it. So it's very easy to replace. The bottom of it has two big fans. And a subwoofer. Looks like there's some tape covering the subwoofer, and I can't imagine why. Oh, I see. It's missing some screws, I've noticed. A couple screws are missing for the fan cover, and I'm guessing the screw for the hard drive is missing, so that's why it's taped on. Let's see if plugging it in gives us any life. I have some power plugs right down here. This plug should be powerful enough for what we're going to do. Looks like we have some lights at the bottom. And the power button is right here. No OS detected, that makes sense. And try F2. There we go. F2 gets us into the BIOS. It is a very bright screen.
Select compensation. No. Here is our info. Pentium 4 538 with hyper 3.2 gigahertz. Not too bad of a chip. Overall, I can't wait to see what the system is capable of. Now, if you, if you missed the Pentium 4 overclocking video I did a few days ago, uh, you'll not have known that I'm doing a benchmarking series for old Pentium laptops. And I think this will be one of the stars of the show. It'll be cool. There's no OS, so there's not much to do on it right now. But I will put a hard drive in it and see just how good it is. I'm actually interested to see if it holds a charge. So I'll open it back up. No charge, okay. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. It's got a flip-out foot. This is not something you're used to seeing on uh, Pentium 4 laptops. Maybe Pentium 2s, but not Pentium 4s. This is really cool. It's giving itself a built-in uh, laptop lifter. just looking over right now on my own. It seems a cool unit. I can't wait to give my full perspective on this in the full benchmarking videos. If you guys enjoyed this little unboxing, then please do go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Gambio. I'll see you all in the future.